Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halalim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakakwadash. Call Halalim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakakwadash. Call Halalim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone GMS who rule well in time it is true. Uh, uh, shalom to the Bayat Dawada, which is the house of David, and Shalom to the sincere Aquathium who are staying in order according to the scriptures. I'm your brother Shemayim from the diligent soldier camp out here in Boston, Massachusetts. And like always, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the elect. All right, uh, not too sure what I'm gonna name this one, you know, uh, but the point of it, right, the, the purpose of this lesson, you know, is for me to express. To you sincere listeners and, 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 and you newcomers, you know, uh, new babes, you know, that, that you know, that want some sincere milk, you know, uh, to understand. And, you know, to any Christians, man, to these false Christians as well, to, to let them know the truth, right? Because a lot of our people is is in is in a state of darkness, right? With Christianity, they got Christianity. The religion Christianity is not true. It's not the true biblical Christianity, right? Us Israelites, right? The ones that know the truth, right? We are the true Christians, right? We are the anointed ones. We are uh, 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 anointed, right? We are the followers of of Yahweh Shai, you know. But these other Christians, these other Christians, they have, uh, uh, they have, they have, uh, uh, yo, I'm doing a lesson. Give me one second, brothers. Shalom, Mark. Shalom, Mark. Hey, yeah, how about Shemi? I'm Shai Brakatai, bro. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Yeah, do a lesson right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, no, you good, bro. You good. That's the brother Lahai right there, man. You know, good people, man. My brother, man. You know, uh, that being said, you know, uh, a lot of our people got this stronghold where, where, you know, you speak to them about the scriptures and, and, and they're, they're uh, intrigued, you know, but for some reason, something that fucks them up, you know, and excuse my language, but something that is, is just... Something that just they just can't believe because they've been they've been they've been uh 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 taught wrongfully, right? They can't believe that 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 the Lord is not gonna save Esau Edom, the so called white man. Right? They have a problem with that shit. Even though, you know, low key somewhere deep inside they know how cruel and evil and wicked this devil is, right? And they have some type of resentment against this devil because how they're treated in life and their job, anywhere they go. Right, they see the discrimination. They see the 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 uh, unrighteous decrees that they try to pass, and and all the bullshit, right? That Esau Edom does, and all the destruction that he brings, and and you know his philosophy how it fucks up a lot of, uh, it fucks up society as a whole, the whole world, right? They're able to see certain things, but for some reason, you know, they got a problem with the truth because because you know uh, their God is a so-called white man. It been programmed in them that their God is a so-called white man. That's a lie, man. Our Lord and Savior, right? Uh, 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 ultimately, if you if you want if you had to put uh, uh, if you had to put it into words, right? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, they are so-called black man, if you will. You know, they uh they would be considered a uh, so-called black, right? Our Lord Yahweh Shai came as a, as a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. You know. Uh, that being said, you know, I got a couple scriptures. I'm not trying to make this into a long uh, lesson. And like I mentioned earlier, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the elect. Right, I'm going to start off with 2 Ezra 6 and 9, right? It says, uh, you know what, let me go back. I'll start at verse 7, right? Uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, what shall be the part in the sunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? All right? Verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, 
Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, right? So that's a uh, 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 symbolic, right, for the down pulling, right? The bringing, uh, uh, bringing down of Esau Edom. Right, Esau Edom uh, 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 coming off his high horse, if you will, right? There's a priest that, that speaks about how I have seen uh, uh, servants on uh, horses and princes as servants, right? The servants is Esau Edom, right? Because the scriptures speak about how the eldest shall serve the youngest. So he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's that servant, Right. And, and ultimately, that's your that's your lot. Esau, you know, you're going to be a servant of Jacob. Right. And I got the priestess for that. I'm going to bring that out later on, you know. But uh, 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 Esau Edom is on horses. He's on that. He has power right now. And the princes, Yasharala, right, Israel, we are the prince of the power. Right. We are right now, you know, uh, uh, as servants, man. Right, right now the hand is in the hand. The, the world is in the hand of the wicked, and and, and we uh, uh, are uh, under Esau Edom's rulership, you know. But the elect, the elect of the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, right? The elect, you know, uh, 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 don't have those strongholds on them anymore. Don't have those mental shackles on them, right? We are spiritually free, if you will, right? The scriptures speak about how the truth will set you free. And that's that's the spirit that we in right now. Right. This is why we prophesy onto the wind, because we're pushing that righteous vibration. Right. The the vibration of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, which is bringing down Esau's rulership is bringing down Esau's uh, kingdom. You can see how America is crumbling. It's going down the drain and all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai for that. Right. So second Ezra six and eight. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Jacob, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Right. Verse nine for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right. So ultimately, the scripture saying that Esau is the end of the world, meaning his era of rulership is coming to an end. Right. And, 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 and simple things like these. You know, it, it's what it's what's uh, 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 interesting how Jake can't really understand, you know, how the Lord is not dealing with these Edomites as a whole. Right. Simple things like these, like 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 this example, you know, now I'm going to give you another example. Right. In the time of of of, of Noah, didn't the Lord have an elect and, and destroyed everybody else? So why did the Lord change from back then and now? If the Lord destroyed a, a, a mass of people in the past and had an elect at that time, which was Noah, his three sons and their wives, right? Which in total were eight people. Why, why did the Lord have a small elect, a small remnant? Right. The scriptures speak about how, how, uh, 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 how does it go? Uh, have, have not bowed down to Baal, right? Let's get that right. Uh, uh, First Kings 19 and 18. Yeah, I have left me 7000 in Israel. Right. All the knees which have not bowed unto Baal and every mouth which has not kissed them. That's right. And that's 7000. Seven goes into completion. The Lord has a, 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 a complete elect. The 144000 in the large multitude that has not bowed down to to Baal. Right. The Lord has set an an elect that will bow, that won't bow down ultimately to Esau Edom. All right, where was I? Right, and then another example, right? Uh, uh, in the time of of of, of Moses, in the time of Pharaoh. Why did the Lord, why did the Lord destroy the Egyptians and save Israel if the Lord uh, 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 cares for all nations? See, simple examples like these is what is what blows my mind how how Jay can be so simple, man. And the scriptures speak about how uh, 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 how does it go? Uh, 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 Let's 
to the lock in. Is it anything or everything? Every word, con. Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool regardeth and is confident. That's right. Let me see. There's another one that says, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me see. This one right here, Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. That's right. I just realized that these two, these two simple, uh, uh, these two pieces about the simple, I used to, I used to combine them. I just realized that, you know. Uh, so let's go back. Now let's go back, right? Uh, let's go to, let's continue in Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. That's very true, you know, especially, especially because a lot of these men are, are, are pushing false doctrine and ultimately what they do, doing is scattering the flock, starting with these false uh, 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 Christian pastors. You know, that's why you rather you you rather you, you have to obey God rather than men. Right. And, and, and how you obey God is by is by also learning from men that 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 you know uh, uh, that are, are uh, ultimately have the Holy Spirit and they have the truth, right? Let me get that real quick. Uh, uh, I believe it's Ezekiel three and seventeen, right? KJV, right? Like peep, peep this, right? Ezekiel th 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. You see? Son of man, right? I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Again, the Lord is favoring Israel. But the Lord has has an elect, right? Uh, that 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 he has, uh, uh, you know, there's an elect large multitude, but in that large multitude, he has 144, which are watchmen unto the house of Israel. It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth, whose mouth? The Lord's mouth and give them warning from me, from me. The warning is coming from the Lord. So when it says make every man a liar, it's speaking about the men that has false doctrine. But how are you going to learn from the Lord? By the teachers, by the watchmen, by the prophets that he has set up. You see, from there, right? Uh, uh, what, ha what happened to Second Peter's? Thought I had, I thought I had Peter's on. Let's go to. Uh, oh, I keep deleting it. I see, I see. Oh man, let me see, brother Salakia. Uh, history. Uh, where was I? Right, can't get rid of that. That's a good one. Oh man, Come on, give me, give me, give me one second. I had, I can't believe I just deleted two precepts. I had them lined up, you know. It's, it's all good. I uh, all men going to the Lord, man. You know I'm gonna continue with the precepts I have. You know, it's 11:44 too. You know, call Halali and Lajah Howa by Hashem Yahu Shai. All right, uh, Amos 9:11. In that day, will I raise up the tabernacle of David, 
that is falling and close up the breaches there are. That's what the law is doing right now, right? Because the differences between the northern tribe and the southern tribe, right? The Lord is 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 uh uh uh. uh you know, ultimately allowing us to come back together and put those differences aside, man. This is why when you're in the truth, right, ultimately that evil eye, right, doesn't really pertain onto you, man. You don't have an evil eye towards your brother. Now we're in the truth. Now we know that, that, that two sticks shall become one, the northern tribe and the southern tribe. In that day where I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Right. So the Lord is raising up the house of David that they may possess the remnant of Edom. So the Lord is raising up the house of David. Right. Uh, he's 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 uh, uh, raising up again. Right. Because the house of David was back then in the time of King David. And right now we're in the present time. The Lord is rebuilding it right now that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the heathen, which are called by my name, says the Lord that doeth this. So how is the Lord dealing with these other nations if the Lord is going to allow us to have to possess Esau, Edom and these heathens, man? You know, Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob, have I loved, but Esau, have I hated Right. When we go to uh, 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 Romans nine and first verse, I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I will wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Right. That seed who are Israelites. Verse four. To whom pertaineth the adoption? See, there's, there's, there's no way around this. Like, people will read this and still come up with a conclusion that the Lord is still dealing with other people. The, 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 the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the laws and the service of God and the promises belong to the Israelites. Ultimately belongs to the Israelites only. Right? From there, let's go to Romans 2 and 11. For there is no respect of person with God, right? Ultimately, there's no respect for for a uh, 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 persons with God. So when the Lord is not dealing with these Edomites, right? It, it, it's a uh, 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 it's because the Lord don't respect these Edomites, man. And that's what anybody because the Lord was judging Israelite, right? So we understand that aspect of it. But as a whole, as a, as as mankind, if you were as a whole, the Lord is not fucking with you, Edomites, man. Right? Let's go to Romans nine and and and, and seventeen. For the for the scripture, right, says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's what happened the first go around with, with the Pharaoh. You see, he took out he took out the Egyptians so that his name can be declared throughout the, throughout all the earth. Now, what about this scripture right here? Right. Uh, uh, uh. I think I'm butchering it. I mean, uh, roughly paraphrasing it. Let's get Jeremiah 16 and 15, right? Let, we'll start at 14, right? It speaks about how, therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, right? That it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, right? That's that first exodus where the name of the Lord was declared throughout the whole earth, right? Uh, 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 where he saved us from the Egyptians, Right. But it says, but uh, Jeremiah 16 and 15. But this is what the Lord is going to be known for. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands with it. He has driven them and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, unto their fathers. Right. Which was what land? The land of Israel. The Lord is going to bring us back. Right. Let's go to let's go to uh, 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 let's go to uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, chapter 28. Right. Uh, verse 64. Right. Deuteronomy 28, 64. 
right? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there shall thou serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Right. And that life shall hang in doubt before thee and thou shalt fear the day and night and shall have no none assurance of thy life. Uh, uh, Salakia. Right. Uh, let me see. Uh. Let's go to let's go to uh, 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, which goes into bondage. Right. The house of bondage, which we're, we're in spiritual Egypt and and, and 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 Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. By the way, wherefore, which is America, ultimately America, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there shall so like, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right. Where, 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 where were the Israelites sent to to serve slavery uh, 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 through ships? That's America, man. The transatlantic slave trade. You cannot make this up. So that's the land of the north and anywhere else where we were sent to. Right. Where the Lord is going to free us, man. That's going to be that second exit exodus that I just read in Jeremiah. Come on now. The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites and the Lord is only going to save the Israelites. And he's going to give these heathens and these Edomites as our possession, man. Romans 2 and 11. All right. I read, I read that right. First Peter 2 and 9, right? Uh, uh, but ye are but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. We are a chosen, right? What does it mean to be chosen? Come on now. Uh, uh, web search, chosen. Uh, having been selected, having been selected as the best or most appropriate. One who is the object of choice or of divine favor, an elect person. Woo! That's powerful right here, man. That's the elect. That's the elect, man. This and this, there's a uh, 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 constant. Uh, uh, there's so many precepts, right? On, on how we are, the, how the Lord has a chosen, has an elect. Right, First Peter two and nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a, pecu a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. A call halalim la yahawo bahashem yahushai bahasham rahakakwadash. The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man. And salvation is for the Israelites. The promise is for the Israelites, man. The covenant is for the Israelites, man. And these heathens and these Edomites are gonna be our possession. And the Lord is not dealing with these Edomites, man. The scriptures speak about how a false balance is an abomination, man. Right? A uh, 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 false balance is an abomination. Eleven one on one. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. A just weight. How is it a just weight, right? If perpetual hatred, right? How is it a a, a, a just weight, right? If Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Who has done that? Esau, Edom, right? Uh, uh, these heathens, of course, they've been part of it, partakers. But first and foremost, these Edomites, thou has had a perpetual hatred, right? Everlasting and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, it says the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood. That's that. Uh, that's that. Uh, 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 balance. Right. A false balance is an abomination. But this is the balance. You shed out blood. So the Lord is going to prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee, says, since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. How 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 can you go around this? You know. Uh, uh, and we'll end it off there. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. All praises, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, which is in uh, 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 in the name of Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakakodash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right? 
uh, uh, Lord willing, on to the next lesson. Shalom, malakium, wa aqua, uh, uh, aquathium. Shalom.